Hi guys, welcome back to 375 Dance Studio. My name is Amanda and today we are going to be talking about hip action in Samba. We have previously spoke about hip action before in general in Roomba and Cha Cha. We'll link that video above so you can check that out. So in Samba, I feel that the hip action is pretty similar but we also have another added hip action on top of that. So we have pendulum and rotation. We'll quickly just review that. So we have a figure eight, right? And then we also have another one which is called pelvic tilt. So pelvic tilt is when my, it, it pretty much explains itself, is that it goes forward and it goes back. So this is a pelvic tilt. So this is the action also added in Samba hips. So let's just practice the pelvic tilt. It feels funny, it looks funny, but trust me, do it. It will make your hip action and samba better. So bend your knees, yeah? We'll just start with two feet apart, and we're just gonna go forward and back, and forward and back, and forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. So the exercise that I use for the pelvic tilt is I start on one foot and I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I go back again and I'm gonna do four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. I always say to my students, it's gonna sound a little bit silly and it's a bit funny, that I always say scooping the ice cream. So whatever flavor you like, think about yourself scooping the ice cream. So it, um, pretty much my hip action works also with my knee action. So in Samba, we have a bending and the straightening of the knees, we have a bounce. So as I'm doing the bounce, I'm also doing the pelvic tilt, and that's why I'm gonna get a little bit of a scoop action in my hips. So of course, when I'm standing with my feet too flat on the ground and I'm just practicing my tilt, there's no scoop because there's no bending and straightening of the knees. I mean, you can practice that, yeah? We can do that. but. When we isolate it, it's going to be a bit choppy. And then we're going to then do it without isolating it and it's going to give you a bit of a scoop action. So scoop the ice cream at home. So we're gonna do that one more time. We're gonna do eight, eight, four, four, two, two, one, one. Ready? Five, six, starting on the right foot. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And switch for two, and two, and one, 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 one. So that is our pelvic tilt. So now we also have to bring in our Cuban action, our pendulum and rotation. So this is how we're gonna start. We're gonna start with our feet apart. We are going to do cucaracha, our Cuban action, just like how we did before with two straight legs. Don't worry about the knees bending right away. So we're gonna just start with that. So getting used to getting our hips doing our figure eight, our Cuban action. So that's first, yeah. After we do this for a little bit, we are going to bend the knee that we circle the hip. So that knee, so my right hip and my right knee. So right hip and right knee as it circles. And then when it finishes the circle, the knee should be fully straight. And then again, I start mine, uh, left circle, bend the left knee and fully straighten it by the time my hip is fully rotated. So we have circle up, circle up, circle up, circle up, 
One, end. Two, end. Keep going. End. Pendulum rotation. 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 So just to get a little bit deeper on how we changed our actions from doing our little scoop pelvic tilt to the Cuban action. So when I start and I bend my knee going into the pendulum action, I start going in my pelvic tilt. In my pelvic tilt, then as I'm doing my rotation, my hip is going back, and then I do the same thing to the other side. So I am combining the pelvic tilt and the Cuban action. In, hip goes in as I bend my knee, and around and out. And again, in and around and out. In and around and out. In and around and out. So you should feel almost like you're doing a little mini crunch in the air. So we have, boom, that side works. Now this side works. So you feel your rib and your hip bone coming together as that knee bends. It comes in and then they go away from each other. And then it comes in and then they go away from each other. One and two and in and in. Yeah? So this is what we're gonna do. We are going to do, first we're gonna have eight hips with straight leg. Eight Cuban actions with straight legs. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here we're gonna do eight with bent knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From here, we are going to do a double. We're gonna go one, a, uh, two, three, a, uh, four, five, a, uh, six, seven, a, uh, eight. So that's gonna be the little exercise we do to practice our samba hip action. Okay, here we go. Five, six straight legs. One, two, three four, five, six, now bend the knees. Bend, 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 five, six, seven, now double. Double, 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 double. Back to the straight knees. Straight knees, three, four, five, six, now we go bend knees, two, three, four, five, six, now we go double. Double, 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 and double. Alrighty guys, we are going to do that Samba hip action little mini routine with music. Five, six, seven, straight legs. to put that hip action into a commonly known step, which is the whisk. So let's get into it. We have, uh, let's just go through the whisk just stepwise, yeah? So we have step to the side, cross behind, replace. Side, cross behind, replace, okay? So how our hip action relates to that is that like we were just doing similar to the double hip action that we had. So when we did the double hip action, we did a nice big one over to the right. We did 
a tiny little neutral action over here and then again coming back. Yeah, so this movement is bigger than that one coming back. So in the whisk, we're going to have the same concept that we're gonna have right, left, right, left, right, left. Yeah, let's try it with the whisk. And right, left, right, left, right, left. And one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight, one, a two, three, a four, five, a six, seven, a eight. Okay guys, we are going to do the whisk with music, making sure that we're getting all of that nice and juicy hip action in. Six, seven, eight. Okay guys, keep putting that on replay, practicing your samba hip action, getting it into your muscle memory. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.